I have two large, uh, two primary takeaways from this workshop. The first is that there's a lot of exchange of experiences. Countries are, the, the four countries that are represented here, Colombia, Mozambique, Kenya, and Mongolia, are all experiencing mining booms, yeah. and relatively recent mining booms, even if they've been had mining for decades. It's boomed since about 2000. And they're struggling to cope with the environmental impacts, the social impacts, the uh, economic impacts. And so they often have similar challenges. Some countries are farther along in addressing one challenge or another. So they all have something to share, they all have something to learn. And it's very practical. So there, we're not at a point where we're just talking about what are the problems, but we're starting to talk about what are the solutions and what has worked in what circumstance and how might that be adapted or how might that inspire action in other countries. Similarly to the kind of moving from here's a problem to here's, here are solutions, we're moving from a discussion about the importance of human rights to how do you actually operationalize human rights in the mining context? What sort of concrete measures can be done at what stage in the mining cycle? And so this is really exciting because we're finally getting to a point where we're actually realizing human rights, whether they're the right to a healthy environment, the right to water, or more procedural rights, uh, the rights to have information, the rights to participate, the rights of indigenous community, protecting gender rights. There are many values <laughs> that, the, that EGP has. There's, there's the practical values in the countries as the countries are building capacity, building institutions, building processes and laws. And then there's uh, the procedural uh, aspect. That for a long time, we have been very stovepiped. You have the environment agency, you have the mining agency, you have the gender, you have human rights. And this project is bringing together all these different interests and stakeholders uh, from a very problem-rich environment. We, how do we solve this problem? Who needs to be at the table? And it's bringing together all of those actors. And so I think that not only for the questions and issues that are being presented in this project, but in the longer term, this is starting to build those bridges and set the precedent for breaking down those stovepipes.